everyone. Uh, as you know from before, my name is William Dugan. I'm a uh, co-director of the Launchpad and uh, co-advisor of the CEO chapter. And I'm happy to introduce Maria Hilgers. Maria is a sophomore environmental sciences major and is the director of business development of Candid Brilliance Music. Candid Brilliance has helped to uh, develop a, a unique business model to help aspiring musicians. Maria, the stage is yours. All right, can everyone hear me? Hi there. Uh, my name is Maria Hogers. I am the business development manager with Canada Brilliance Music. And today I'm speaking for Jocelyn Kopak. She is our CEO and is unavailable because she is serving with the military. So today I'm here to tell you about our business model. Canada Brilliance Music is a network of classical and jazz musicians where our goals are to perform live music, teach to students, and also create new music through compositions. So today I'm, we're trying to solve two problems. For this hypothetical situation, let's say that the lady on the end here is Kate, and the sad guy with the violin is Dave. Now, Kate is getting married. Yay, Kate. <laughs> Except Kate is really stressed out. Kate is so stressed out because sometimes to get a professional musician to play at your wedding, you have to pay upwards of $800 an hour. However, if, um, sorry. <laughs> with Dave, however, we're trying to solve a different problem. Dave is going to graduate soon. Yay, Dave. Except Dave is also very stressed out. And Dave is as stressed as he is because he's having trouble building his resume. He's having trouble getting employed. So what we're trying to do here is bring together these two problems in a happy little marriage, if you don't mind my pun. So for Kate, we try to save money while she's planning her event or hiring an instructor. On Dave's end, we try to, and Dave's end and our end, we try to make money booking musicians and commissioning compositions as well as booking teachers. And also, we get to share culture, which is one of the most important aspects of being a musician. Our team here at Canada Brilliance Music is very special, and here's why. All four of us are UW-Whitewater students, and every single person up here plays an instrument. Together, we have 25 combined years of professional playing experience, and not only that, but we also play a total of eight instruments in between all of us. So, with weddings and taking on students, it's a big market. In Wisconsin alone, there are 32,000 weddings that are going to be happening this year. And there are a potential 4, 400,000 K through 12 students. Uh, nationally, we're working on expanding currently outside of just Wisconsin. There are 2.3 million potential weddings for us to perform at and a potential 50 million students for us to take on. So how do we do this? How do we get from point A to point B? Well, we do that through our site. Uh, the Canada Brilliance Music site is a site where you can search for musician by type, by whether you're looking for an instructor. So when you're on there and searching, let's go back to the example of Kate. Uh, Kate is on there and she's looking for her violin player for her wedding. She finds the violin player and then sends us a message. Hey, guys, uh, how much does it cost per hour to have this violinist play at my wedding? So from there, uh, we give her a quote. And when she likes the quote, we do all of our booking information. She fills out some simple forms. Um, all of our musicians are under contract, so there is no backsy outsies like three weeks before the wedding. Uh, so on both ends, everyone gets to enjoy. We get to do what we like to do best, and Kate and other instructors get to enjoy what they like to do best. This year, we're expecting to make over $100,000 in revenue. We plan to do that through 110 weddings and events, 50 weekly private lessons, and five custom compositions. Uh, we're about halfway to our goals on weddings and events. Uh, about 35, we have about 35 students currently, and we just finished our first custom composition this year called Preserve, which is for piano and violin. In order to do everything that we do, we have to put ourselves out there. As a musician, you can't be the best flute player in the world, for example, and sit on your butt and expect someone to just come by and pick you up. No, you gotta put yourself out there. And we're doing that through the CBM 360 blog, where you can learn just about anything you've ever wanted to learn about music and learn about our company. 
And we also have a presence on Facebook, on LinkedIn, and Twitter. Uh, we also have a few partnerships. So say if you went to our photography partner and, so, and you were booking them to take photos, you could also say, hey, do you know any good violinists? And they could say, hey, we know about Candy Brilliance Music. You should go to them. So as for financial projections, we have been profit positive since our start in 2014. Uh, last year, we made a 5% net growth on a 30% gross. This year, we're, making, we're planning on making a 9% net on a 30% gross, leading to a profit of $9,000. Today, we're asking for an investment of $50,000 for helping with franchising, to criticize costs, and to help with any other expenses that may come up. We also believe that when you invest $50,000 in us, you're investing in a worthwhile company with heart, with spirit, that really knows what they're doing in the end of the day. So, once again, my name is Maria Hilgers. I am presenting today for Canon Brilliance Music in place of Jocelyn Kopak. Uh, if you have any questions, if you want to book with us, here's our uh, contact information up here. Canon Brilliance Music, perform, teach, create. Thank you. What's, what's your percentage? I missed that. Your commission from booking something? Our commission from booking something? Yeah. Uh, so the musician gets about 60% of what we, um, what we have when, 60% uh, of the revenue that comes in from booking. And then to pay ourselves, it's about, it's 40%, more or less. Judges, any other questions? Yeah, what are wedding planning sites already doing in this space, if anything? Um, a lot of wedding planning sites have a pretty similar format, but generally it's less about the music, it's not as focused on the music. Um, a lot of sites will have a focus on maybe catering, on other things. We're very, um, we're very unique in the sense that we have such a focus on weddings and other such events. Where are common places that people are going for this information? Well, currently the, the music market is actually fairly competitive, but it's also a bit of a monopoly. There are a lot of places where if, if there's a similar business to ours, they're based out of like a bigger city, for example, like Madison, Chicago, um, and they charge way more. Um, a, big, a big thing is that a lot of middle class families cannot afford to hire a classical musician or a jazz musician because it's like $800 an hour and this musician might be coming out of Madison. And as we're trying to expand from just the Whitewater area, that's something we're going to have to look into. Do you see any, um, like how are you going to go up against the people that just choose to do a DJ for a wedding? Because um, most people I don't think know the cost difference between the two and end up going with a DJ. Do you guys have a plan for uh, educating people on you know, going with a musician versus just doing a DJ? Well, largely our market is for actually performances for wedding ceremonies. So we oftentimes don't have like a huge overlap with when it comes to competition with DJs because they're more for a reception, for cocktail hour, you know, for the dinner the night before. But um, we are generally geared more towards ceremonies, so we don't really come into that problem. <laughs> 